Get off the cardboard. Get off the egg crate. What's that? What? What's that on your foot? Is that a piece of another? What? You can't run a piece of your friend? What the? Hey Webbers, I'm Andy and welcome to the web venue. Today, we are unboxing more roaches. <laughs> now, this is a different species of roach. I'll get to it in a minute and don't be fooled by the size of this box. It's actually less roaches in this box than the last one. But anyway, let's get them out and let's talk about these roaches. And just like last time, I unboxed it already to make sure they were alive and everything was good. <laughs> Look at this huge box and there's this little thing in here. But regardless, there actually was a bunch of uh, uh, paper that was padding this and some food in here for them. So that's why it looks majority empty. But still, look at these little tiny things in this huge box. But anyway, let's take these guys out and let's throw this box out of here. Look at those guys. Much, much bigger than the last ones. You can tell. The last one had about 300. This one has a little over 100 in here. But they kind of compensate for their numbers because they're so huge. Now these guys here are Dubia roaches. I'm not entirely sure of their Latin name either. I will have that on screen right now as well. But their common name is Dubia roaches. And they are also very good feeder roaches. Now these guys are rather large, if you can't tell, and they're usually for just feeding the largest of spider species, and that's probably what I'm going to be using them for, and that's also why there's only 100, is because I don't plan on having a crazy ton of very large spiders. I figured I'd get them anyway because I do want to have some very large spiders, and also they take a rather long time to breed and reproduce. So that's also why I got these guys now. Even if I don't get a super large spider anytime soon, at least I'll have them breeding for when I do have a large spider. But yeah, they can take up to half a year to breed. So that's why I've got them. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but they are making a lot of noise. You guys hear that? Yeah, they are ready to get out of this container and into their new home. They definitely don't want to be in here. So let's put them in the new home. All right, Webbers, here we are above their toe. And as you can tell, it's identical to the last one you've seen. It's got the egg crates. It's got the, you know, the toad itself. It's got the two things down here, which you can barely see, but they're there. Let's see how these guys adjust to their new home. They're down there in that corner. Let's get them a uh, bonk. Bunk. They've calmed down since the last time you guys seen them because I haven't moved them. There they are. One last look in their little home here. That guy right there, he's going fast. Look at him. Oh, speedy dude. He wants out of there. Whoa, look at him. Oh, he ran over one of his friends just to get out of the way. And that guy right there, look at him. He's like, get me out of here. I don't want in here anymore. All right, it's time to put them in their new home. Just like before. This one isn't taped on, so it'll actually be a lot easier to remove this. And they're bigger, and there's less of them, and there's less of a mess in here, so just all around easier. Let's see if I can't. Oh, they're rustling. Come on, little boys. Get off the lid. Look at them. Get out of here. They're all out of here. Let's take a look at them. So look at them there. All doing their business.
Look at how many are concentrated on that little piece of egg crate. Get out of there. You have this whole thing to live on and you're still on this little piece of egg crate. Come on, guys. You guys need to get off the egg crate. I'm gonna have to give them a hand with relocating. So it looks like they don't wanna leave their old home. I mean, some of them are. If you can see that guy back there, uh, focus, not focusing on me. That guy right there, he left. He likes his new home. But you guys, what's your, what's your issue? Get off here, get out of here. You gotta get your new home. I'm gonna have to evict them the hard way, ain't I? Also, these guys are completely harmless. I'm not worried about them biting me or anything. They, uh, uh, that's another reason why they're good feeders, just like the Turkestan roaches, is they can't bite. So that means there's no chance of them killing your tarantula or any other animal you feed them to. So they're pretty much just easy prey, to put it in the, in the best words possible. They're, they don't bite, uh, they don't burrow, they're fat and juicy, and they make a lot of noise and they run around a lot, which obviously attracts the tea or whatever animal you have to the, to the, to the roach. So... They make really good feeders because of their traits. But it looks like a lot of the ones that are going to move out have moved out. It looks like they need a little bit more encouragement. Get off your little... Well, I evicted a few of them, but they're stubborn. Come on, guys. Get into your new home. Stop being so difficult. Look at that big end right there. He just doesn't want to get evicted. Get the... Get off. This isn't your home anymore. I'm evicting all of you. Yeah, that's right. There you go, he got off. Smacked him a few times and he's like, he's like, screw that, I'm out of here. Now he's got a bunch of babies, it looks like. A bunch of nymphs on there. I think all the adults got off. Maybe zoom back out a little bit. Get off the cardboard. Get off the egg crate. Okay. So I think most of them are off. There's just this little guy here. Let me just check this here. It looks like they're all off this side, huh? Oh. We got a few stragglers on this side. We got two there and one in there. It looks like there's maybe three left on here or four. Not many. Hey, you guys got the eviction notice too. Get out of here. Hey. Yeah. I see this side's completely cleared. Ah, see. There's our two holdouts in there. Look at them. Hey, what are you doing in there? Hey. Hey. It's time to get out. Yeah. I'm talking to you. It's time to leave, buddy. It's time to leave. Where'd your brother go? Hey. Hey, it's time to go. Yeah. It's time to go. Oh. Looks like we lost one. There he is. The last remaining Dubia roach in this egg crate. He's really burrowed in there. He doesn't want to get out, but he's going to have to get out. Hey, don't wiggle your antennae at me. I said, you need to get out. Hey, buddy, pal, there you go. Wham. Got him. All right, they're all out. They've all moved in to their new home. Nice. Now before we check on them and see how they're doing, I'm gonna put this egg crate in this here, just like I did with the other roaches. 
if I could get it open. There we go. And get to go. And just like that, we have an empty container with no more dubias in it. And it doesn't even look like we got any that died on this. There was a few, I'd say there's about 12, 15 Turkish sand roaches that died in shipping. But this one looks like there was all survivors. So that's a big thumbs up from me. Let's take you guys off the tripod and let's see how they're doing. Oh. There's a glorious male and all his beauty. Tagging, what's that? What? What's that on your foot? Is that a piece of another, what? You came around a piece of your friend? What the? Okay. There you go, buddy. There was a roach that was upside down in there and I flipped him over and he was fine. There's not many males in here. I think there's only a few. But I've got enough females and males to where they'll breed and have a lovely time. But there you go, guys. Just like the Turkestan roaches, the Dubia roaches were evicted from their contained container. Why did I say that? Of course, it's a, it's a good, redundant. Anyway, regardless, the roaches are now in their new home, settling in. There's a lot less of them, but they're way bigger. They make up for what they don't have in numbers with their size. I can see that they're adjusting. You guys can't probably hear it, but they're making a lot of chittering and chattering. I'm not exactly sure why. They're probably getting, you know, used to their new home. And they probably don't like the light either, honestly. They are roaches after all. And I think this is the beginning of a beautiful colony of dubia roaches. If you at all enjoyed this video or liked the unboxing and seeing me evict them and put them in their new home. If you liked learning about these roaches. If you liked anything about it. Maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, because in the future we're going to be getting spiders and other animals possibly. And uh, this is just the beginning. This is just me getting the things I need to care for the spiders. If you are at all interested in the web venue and the journey I'm taking with these animals, then you can follow the web venue at Facebook, at Twitter, at Instagram, and at Minds. I will be posting updates on all of my animals frequently I'll be answering all feedback that you guys have, good, bad, advice, anything at all, about anything you have to say, I will listen to it and I'll respond. All the links to the social media will be down below if you want to follow. If not, it's okay. Thanks for watching this far. I appreciate it so much. Have a great day and I'll catch you webbers later.